So how do you use this new chat GPT AI technology on your Apple devices? A great way to go is to pay for PT, a new watch app, also known as Watch GPT. PT's app helps you get answers from OpenAI's chatbot either by typing on your Apple Watch or using voice input. What's more, it's like a dialogue, so you can keep having a discussion with the chatbot about the issues you've already asked about. So what's ChatGPT again? ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool developed by OpenAI, the same team of researchers that created the GPT-3 language model. It's designed to help users communicate with their gadgets in a more natural and intuitive way. The goal of ChatGPT is to provide an AI-driven interface that can recognize conversational clues interpret what's being expressed and to respond logically. So Watch GPT is an AI driven virtual assistant driven by that chat GPT model. It's like having a personal assistant on your wrist. With this app, you can ask anything of chat GPT right from your app and get answers delivered to your wrist. You can even set an accompanying watch complication for your Apple Watch, which means you don't have to go scrolling through the app, which can be a bit clumsy. It's not an official app from the developers of chat GPT open AI. Instead, it's an app developed by a third party, an independent developer. Here's how to use chat GPT on Apple Watch. First, download Watch GPT on your Apple Watch from the App Store. It costs $6.99 in New Zealand. Your App Store will differ. Open the Watch GPT app on your Apple Watch. Click the Ask Me Anything button. You can type out the query you want to ask using the on-screen keyboard or use the voice button to talk to it, which is much what I prefer to do. It will show the answers to your query in fairly quick time. You can click on the Share button to share the answer with others, and we'll come back to that in a little while. You can also click on the Done button to start again, or you can hit reply to carry on a chat if you want to explore further. You can also ask the app to read the answer out to you too. Watch along here to see what I mean. Write me a paragraph of copy about my new podcast, Apple Plus Weekly, about how to get the best out of Apple devices, Apple news, and Apple ecosystem rumors. experience with Apple Plus Weekly, a podcast tailored exclusively for Apple enthusiasts. Delve into expert tips, hidden features, and game-changing hacks to maximize the potential of your treasured devices. Stay ahead of the curve with breaking Apple news and intriguing rumors circulating the Apple ecosystem. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through cutting-edge innovations and enlightening conversations that will strengthen your love for all things Apple. Subscribe now and transform the way you interact with your favorite tech. Only on Apple Plus Weekly. Discover the ultimate guide to enhancing your... Give me another paragraph like that, but focus more on Apple News. Immerse yourself in the latest Apple developments with Apple Plus Weekly, your one-stop destination for all pertinent news in the realm of Apple devices and services. Our dedicated team scours the industry to bring you exclusive reports, informed speculations, and thorough analyses that keep you well-versed in the ever-evolving Apple landscape. Stay connected, informed, and prepared for the future with stories covering new product releases, software updates, and groundbreaking revelations that make waves in the tech world. Enhance your Apple knowledge and elevate your experience by subscribing to Apple Plus Weekly, the essential news podcast for every Apple devotee. My God, I think I might subscribe to this podcast. I think I might use some of this copy too. It's pretty amazing. 
Okay, let's go through the pros and cons. It's fast and it's pretty inexpensive. It's a cool way to explore using chat GPT and even get access to the latest model pretty inexpensively. I'll come back to that. The major problem I have with it is getting the answers off your watch and into another format. You can message someone or email someone, which is awkward because I also then have to add, enter an address to send the chat by email manually, which is not something I want to do. I just wish they could sort out the sharing sheet so I could share more than just messages and email. What I need is a share to notes so I can then look at it and edit this further on my phone or my iPad or my Mac everywhere. Now the app blurb promises social media sharing and I can't see that anywhere, which is a bit annoying and a bit of a miss sell. I'm hoping that the developers address that soon. Now the latest version of the GPT model, GPT-4, comes with a bigger price tag and the app developer couldn't afford to provide it for free. However, they felt like raising that price or making it mandatory would be unfair. So now you can purchase usage of the newer model as an optional upgrade. And actually for the price they're charging, I think it's a bit of a bargain. It was an extra $5 in the New Zealand App Store. As it stands, the watch app gets a B minus grade from me. I hope the developer takes the opportunity to actually deliver the social media sharing that was promised and to enable sharing to notes to your other Apple devices. But it is an interesting way to start to explore what chat GPT can do without getting caught up in the models, interfaces, and trying to find the best prompt. It's accessible, pretty cheap, but could be better. I'm Saab Johal, this is Apple Plus. Maybe try this video next and consider subscribing. I'll catch you back here again soon. Cheers.